All right, so let me take this damn head out. <clears throat> All right, so cooking with me is real simple. Well, not simple, but you know, we gonna make it happen for y'all. So this way, we we'll get a little my special chicken. We can call it that because I ain't got no name for it. It's just amazing chicken, spicy though, because I like spice. Without spice, there is no life. <laughs> All right, so these are some of the things we're gonna use today in this. Like I said, there's no name for this. Need some drumlets. We're gonna use some potatoes. Diced tomato, green chilies, little chicken bouillon, little garlic powder, some allspice, and a little flavor everything. All right. Use bell pepper, green onion. We're gonna use all this onion right here. Habanero. Pretty simple. And a little oil. So the first thing you're gonna do, let's heat this up. We're gonna put it at a five. Damn. We're gonna put it like that. Take our oil. Put some oil up in this thing. That's all the oil you need, which is about maybe two tablespoons. Right. It's about two tablespoons. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take some of these onions. Put them in there, just like that. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna season up this stuff in the bag. So just for context, I already know what I'm doing. So, <laughs> but for you, you're gonna use about maybe two tablespoons of any kind of all-purpose seasoning. That's Lowry's, whatever the case may be. Right. Use one tablespoon allspice. One tablespoon of garlic powder. One tablespoon, maybe two, of chicken bouillon. Next thing we're going to do. After you season it up, we'll put this inside the thing. Now I turned the fire down because I didn't want it to burn the onions. We put that in there. We put this up here. Now we turn it back up to five, just like that. Just give that a little bit of turn and twist and twist and turn. Cooking it this way, we just want to get a light tint. That's all we want to do. Get a light tint. Once we have a light tint, we already know what it is. Now, this next part is pretty simple. We already got our veggies and I cut up all that already. So, we're going to take a little chicken boy off. We're going to take Oh, two tablespoons. We can put some water in there. Well, about like a quarter of the way. Just like that. Pretty simple. Come back to here. Let's take our trusty spoon. Let's even this out. Oh, just like that. Let's taste this. That'll work. Now one thing, we'll take a little allspice. Remember before we were just frying it up. Now, let's 
gonna use a little pepper. We don't need no more salt. We have plenty. Take that. Just like that. Turn that off. Now this is gonna cook. Just so you know. You know how this cook. Wait, hold on. That'll work. Now this is gonna cook, just so you know. Let me give you exact time. It do thirty minutes. That's up too high. It go to like about about a three, because I want this to cook, but I don't want to overcook. Just so you know, I added the can of diced tomatoes on top. We want that to cook. The potatoes are thickening up some. Once again, you can see all the flavor from the broth in there. Look at that. Look at all that flavor. Let me taste. Oh, yeah. I can already feel that from the habanero. Put that there. Um, one, one old school. You don't feel like looking for the top. Put a blade on top. Once again, I'm not gonna touch that until that hits. Till it hits maybe five minutes. No, ten. We'll do ten, and I'll stir. So ten minutes. I'll be back, and then we'll stir it up, and then we'll go from there. All right. Remember, don't touch this. Let it sit for that whole time. So it's going to base for, it's going to do its thing for 17 minutes. Like, watch, watch it. And we're going to hit the 10 minutes and you'll see. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this rice on real quick. So some of y'all don't know how to make rice. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. So we'll make it real simple for y'all. Rule of thumb. Watch this. You can do two cups of rice. One, two, two cups of rice. That's all. That's all you need. Rice expands. It doesn't dissipate. We do six cups of water. One. Bring this close. Two. Three. Four, five, actually five, five cups of water. You know, five cups of water. Stir this up. It's supposed to go over your knuckle. So you see that? It's at my knuckle. Stir that up. It's just me eating, so I don't have to worry about anything else. And turn this on to extremely high heat. High heat. Remember, we got that one on. Got that one on three. Wait till it boils. When it boils, put it on low. Then you gonna put a top on it. I got a top for this one though. Boom. When it's time, I'll be back. And we're back. We gave it. We're at the nine minute mark. Look at that. Look at that. Turn. Look how the potatoes just you taste that. Mm -hmm. To the rice. Trusty top. 
put that on there. That's it. Now look at this. <laughs> Without rings, I'll let you know. And we're back. Timer's done. I mean, what I'm doing, you can do too. It's not, it's not crazy hard. I gave you the steps, the recipe. We don't have a name for this, but it's super flavorful. Let me stop that before I get some of nerves. Look at this. Let's get flavor. A little spice to it. Let's put this on really low. Really low. Let's get this while the rice is done. Every time. Look at that. Every time. Done. Mm. Mm. No. I'm plated. So, just to show you how easy plating is. Not that hard. Just the basic. <laughs> we took some rice from out of here. We're putting the red cup. Get that a little, uh, just like that. You go to most restaurants or some restaurants. You didn't seen this before. Just add a little rice right there. Oh, just like that. But if you want to be a little extra, they'll just take this and wipe around. Play clean. Boom. <coughs> so we're gonna take this, <coughs> just like this. Just put it to the edge, just like that. Just give us a little stir, a little twist. Boom. Remember, remember what I said about plating. Doesn't matter how you like it and what's going on, you just do it what you feel. I'm just doing this first. Because before I add some juice and all that. <clears throat> I like it saucy. I'm gonna use this to eat with, so don't, don't bother me, me. So now that we've already done what we need to do, let's turn that. Oh. Let's get that in that juice. I already turned the fire off. Pull the plate back over there. And there you have it. I don't know what to call it, 
but it's one of my favorite chicken recipes. This is my go-to when I want to eat it's chicken. Sauce, the juice. Let's do a taste test. <laughs> Mm. Right amount of spice. Taste that tomato thing, the chili. Mm. All the seasoning. And I feel the like paint the habanero on the back. But remember this. You can spice it up, you can do anything you want, but for me. Mm. Perfect. Because if I add more, then it's like, okay, it's too much of this, and then you're trying to compensate. But, yeah. Potatoes, nice and soft. Mm. If you're missing any salt, it's in the potatoes, they sucked it up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. I mean, if you want to add hot sauce, you can, which I will. Well, sometimes I just want a little bit hotter. But thank y'all for hanging out with me. Thank you for uh, watching me cook. Appreciate y'all. Tune in. See what I cook next.